Now then my friends, today is the start of an epic journey that is going to go down in history because we're going to head on up in my electric car to John O'Groats and we're going to travel from John O'Groats to Land's End. Now stop right there because I know I can hear you. It's been done before. People have taken an electric car from John O'Groats to Land's End. I've done it myself, but this time there's a little twist to it because I'm going to go up there and I'm going to go and meet Jeff Buys Cars and he's bought a diesel car I believe for less than three grand we'll get to know more about that when we see him up there off of Facebook last night or the night before literally so we're going to challenge <laughs> we've got a challenge to go on from John O'Groats to Land's End in a sub three thousand pound diesel car against a hundred and twenty thousand pound electric car. Now everybody says that electric cars are the future. Well we're going to find that out. Now evangelists stop right there because I can hear you already. Oh you're in it to lose it. You're going to lose it on purpose. No I'm in it to win it and I'm on your side. So I'm really going all in to try and make sure that the electric car wins this challenge. So we're going to head up there today. It is uh, we've got here 500 and 43 miles. It's going to take me nine hours and 57 minutes to get to John O'Groats. Um, my electric car has got 222 miles of range in it at the moment. It's 99% done. Uh, it's been charging all night. It's warmed up everything. I've warmed the batteries up and everything for all the evangelists there. I've got it all prepped. Uh, I'm at a bit of disadvantage. I'm at a disadvantage to start with, to be honest, because it's winter and I'm down about 50 miles because in summer, you get more range. So it's going to be interesting. There's no race today. We're going to meet Jeff up there. And then in the morning, we're going to go through the journey and the challenge, etc. Because the challenge is uh, who can get to Land's End the quickest and the cheapest as well. So uh, once and for all, we're going to answer that question, are electric cars the future? Now, if you are new to the channel, do me a favour, hit the subscribe button. Let's push this out to the rest of the world and give them that answer that everybody wants. Are electric cars the future? Are they cheaper? Well, we're going to find out. It won't cost you a penny, so hit the subscribe button and also uh, head on over and subscribe to Jeff Buys Cars as well. I'll put his link at the end and down below because you'll see on his channel, his journey, and on my channel, my journey. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, okay, so it is, uh, what time are we on here? 8.52 a.m. in the morning. Uh, got 98% of battery left, 541 miles to my destination, uh, to the hotel at John O'Groats, uh, and 221 miles of range. Now, uh, Jeff's already halfway up there, and uh, I'm gonna meet him up there later on. As I say, he's bought himself uh, a diesel car. I don't know what it is, it's gonna be interesting. You might already know, because he might have put his video out by this time. Uh, but I, I haven't got a clue what he's got, but it's a sub 3,000 pound diesel car, I believe, that he's bought off of Facebook. And his challenge, and my challenge, is to get from John O'Groats to Land's End. We're gonna make one stop, uh, one overnight stop in the Lake District, and then from there, it's every man for himself. Who can get to Land's End the quickest, at also within the speed limit, and also at the same time, for the cheapest. Because you get EV drivers, banging on 
that EVs are cheaper. Now they are if you charge them at home. I am going to try and charge at Ionity chargers because that is subsidised with this car. I'm going to be I'm in the, the EV camp, so evangelist. Before we start, I've already had a lot of people say, oh, are you going to lose it on purpose? No, I am not. Rest assured, I am in this challenge to win it. And I've had some people say, well, then you're going to prove yourself wrong. Fair enough. I just don't think electric cars are the future, but I am, sure as hell, going to win this challenge. To my very best, anyway. I'll try my very best. Where's this guy going? Jeez. Right, anyway, come on. Onwards, my friends, no time to waste. And yes, I have planned my journey. Come on. Now, I do need a coffee. However, I am not gonna stop for a coffee until I need to charge. I'm gonna need to charge at least twice because 216 miles of range and 536 miles to go so i'm just gonna hit the road and then when i need to charge i'll get a coffee i'm wasting no time the last time i did the john o'groats to land's end um i only just got the car so i was a little bit weary of it i wasn't sure what it was capable of doing and how far it could go on a range etc this time i know the car i know what it can do so I'm, i've got a bit of an advantage there the disadvantage like i say is it's winter, I'm way down on range, uh, and uh, let me get out of this junction, okay, I'm way down on range, and um, everything that I switch on, wipers, heated seats, if it's cold, etc., it's all going to take away from the range. Um, what I may have to do along the way as well is switch off the air conditioning and the climate control. The only problem with that is then the windows steam up a little bit, uh, which is a bit of an issue with this car. And I also know you're going to get people saying, should have done it in a Tesla. Well, I haven't got a Tesla, so we're going to do it in a Taycan because I've been in Teslas. And let's be honest, it's like they're built out of bolts of wood, isn't it? They're, it's, they're just, they're terrible. Shouldn't have, but now I shouldn't have bought a Tesla awful cars anyway come on onwards lots of miles to cover i've got to say i am not looking forward to the roads and the weather uh, in scotland because at the moment uh, the weather in the UK has been absolutely abysmal. I've actually been away overseas uh, and they've had floods here and the roads are just absolutely terrible. Um, so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a challenging journey. Uh, I can say that. Probably gonna be better in the south, I guess. Uh, I've got my uh, drinks here and I've got some snacks and stuff along the way. I've got this prime stuff as well that, uh, my kids uh, uh, keep, well, Harriet wants to drink, but her mum won't let her have it. And my grandson, he's obsessed with it. I've never had it before, so I'm going to try it now uh, and see what the rage is about. I'm not sponsored by him, by the way. I think they are YouTubers that set it up. One second. Ugh. Ugh. Oof. Well, at least it'll keep me aware anyway. Anyway, come on, onwards. <coughs> I think I prefer coffee. Whew. I'm sorry, but that is absolutely dreadful. Tropical punch. Tastes like licking under the armpits of a sumo wrestler it's it's awful <laughs> right quick update while we're in the uh, traffic jam uh, so um now then I've got 201 miles of range left, however I've turned the AC off so because uh, it interferes with the camera you can 
the microphones, that was good. 186 miles of range if I put the AC uh, back on there. So I'm gonna turn that off a minute. 83% uh, of battery, 504 miles left to go. I'm thinking the only way I'm gonna win this contest and this challenge against Jeff buys cars and his uh, sub 3000 pound diesel uh, is if I try and stick to the speed limit, don't deviate from it, uh, make as little stops as I can for charging and charge at the optimal time. Don't charge past 80% uh, and also let it go quite low uh, and then charge it up from there because it charges quicker and then from 80% upwards it charges slower. Um, so I'm gonna have to be clever with this one. Uh, either that or if his car, because it's diesel, bursts into flames because uh, lots of diesels at the moment seem to be bursting into flames don't they uh, which is uh, it's coincidental really isn't it because it's only since electric cars have been out in lots and lots of diesel cars that burst into flames don't know why that is uh, maybe just a coincidence anyway uh, but that's the, that's the other option if his car bursts into flames then I win by default uh, but anyway I'm intrigued on what car he's actually got because he's literally bought it off of Facebook he just got on Facebook and bought a car so it's a, a sub three thousand pound diesel against a, a hundred and twenty grand Porsche electric car I have got to win this. Uh, so evangelists, I'm on your side this time. Refueling myself with a Belvita. Uh, oh, hang on, lane closure. Um, the only other disadvantage that I'm gonna be at is uh, the weather at the moment as well, because I've mentioned this numerous times, but with the weather, we've got a filling station up here, a petrol station up here, um, there's a nice canopy over the top. And the only ones I've seen with canopies over the top uh, are the GridServe electric forecourt that I went to. The forecourt, the electric forecourt of the future, which I have to say uh, is, it, it was very good and if they're all over the place then great and if they reduce the prices I mean the prices on that was it was astronomical to charge your car there it was absolutely nuts I need to find Ionity chargers uh, which there's not many about in the UK uh, and they're subsidized so that would cost me a lot less so far if you want to work this out by the way uh, my journey and how much it's going to cost uh, an adult store why are there why is there so many adult stores on the A1. I've never seen so many adult stores. They're just adult, they're the old little chefs and they turned into adult stores. Mind you, if I run out of battery, they've probably got some in there, haven't they? <laughs> I'm not sure what for. Um, if you want to mark it down, um, where are you taking us today, love? A1, adult store. If you want to mark it down, um, it cost me overnight to charge at home. 16 pounds roughly i think it was 16 pounds 30 or something uh, and that was to charge it from it was literally down to zero it was down to about three percent so 16 pounds to charge at home there uh, and that gave me the full range there what was it 220 odd miles was it uh, you have to look back at the start of the video so work it out how much it's cost me to get up to john O'Groats, because uh, i'll give you the uh, figures as we go along right come on onwards Hmm, tastes better than that prime. Mm. Right, quick update for you. So I've got, and the air conditioning's on by the way, but I have turned on uh, regenerative, regenerative braking, uh, which I don't like particularly, but the uh, Tesla drivers tell me that it's the way to go. One pedal driving. So when I take my foot off the accelerator, uh, it automatically slows down. It's like it's braking immediately, but it's putting energy back into the battery. Uh, so I've got the regen braking on, 67% of battery, 143 miles uh, of range, uh, and the distance that I've got to go, well, let's pop it on here, is 470 miles 
left to get there. Eight hours, 16 minutes. We know that it's not gonna be eight hours, 16 minutes, because I've got downtime where I'm charging. So you're probably gonna add on about an hour and a half to an hour and 40 minutes, dependent upon how fast the charges are. Uh, even if you use fast charges sometimes, uh, if there's, depending on the grid and whether there's other cars on the other charger, uh, it also goes down and your time limit, your time goes up, uh, time charging, etc. because you don't get the amount of power out, uh, the high power. So sometimes they variate and fluctuate on what power it gives you. So, uh, but I'm doing everything I possibly can uh, this time. I plan my journey, I'm not pulling in when I don't need to. I could have pulled in back there. There were some charges at Scotch Corner, uh, but no, I'm gonna carry on going because I don't need to charge at the moment. Let it get right down. So I'm doing everything I possibly can uh, to uh, to win for the evangelist. So uh, um, this is a practice run on the way up, ready for my journey back down to Land's End. So bring it on, Jeff. Come on, that uh, sub 3,000 pound diesel cannot win this 120,000 pound electric car. This is the future. Onwards, my friends. So the regen braking, uh, which I've got on, I never have it on on this car, I don't like it, but the Tesla drivers tell me I will get used to it with the one pedal driving and not really using your brakes a lot. Um, and it's weird because it went down to 138 miles, then it went back up to 140 miles. So it's obviously putting energy back into the battery when I'm, when I'm, coming off of the accelerator with that regen braking. It's just a weird sensation, a weird feeling, because it doesn't freewheel. As soon as you take your foot off the accelerator, you can feel the motor slowing down, but that's what's putting energy back into the battery again, I guess the friction on it. Um, so it's just, a, it's just an odd way. It's, it's an odd sensation and it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel right. I don't like it, but I'm, I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna give it a go. Apparently you get used to it. If you've got an electric car, do you like the regen braking? Are you used to it? Let me know in the comment section down below. It's just very odd. But I'm doing everything I possibly can to increase that range. Right, um, so I'm down to 47% of battery, 96 miles of range. We've got 433 miles to go. I could have charged up back there at Scotch Corner, but I haven't. I've just thought, no, just keep going. Uh, let's let it get right down. And then uh, I can see charges here on my map. So I might go to the next one or the one after that. Um, I'm trying to get it as low as I possibly can to save time because this is the practice run for going back down to uh, Land's End. So uh, fingers crossed for me. Um, I mean, the thing is, I, I need to know how far Jeff can go and what tank he's got in his car. I don't know what car it is, as I've said. He bought it off Facebook Marketplace. I mean, come on, I've got to win that. I've got to win this race. I can't have a, a car that's off of Facebook Marketplace win a uh, 120 grand Porsche Taycan. Um, but if he's got a, a large tank in it, then he's gonna be able to do it in one go. The only way I can make up time is this car's faster than his. It's, it's got to be faster. So I need to stick to that speed limit uh, and he's gotta stop for a wheel or a, or a brake at some point. He can't literally just drive that in one go. He'll have to stop for a comfort brake. So uh, anyway, uh, I need to find a charger within the next, if I let it get down to 40%, uh, mate, no, sorry, 40 miles. If I let it go down to 40 miles, maybe 20%, and I'll charge it up and then I'll be on my way. I do need a little bit of a comfort break myself. So, um, right, come on, onwards. We can do this. We can do this. I'm an evangelist now, just, just part-time. But I'm, I'm working, I'm playing for you, you know? I'm, I'm on your side. 
So come on, evangelist, root for me. I know you're always uh, having a go at me, but I'm on your side. I'm on your team this time. I'll tell you what's really grinding my gears at the moment, although I can't really say that in an electric car, can you? Because there aren't any gears. Well, there might be in this, I think there's two. Uh, anyway, is the fact that it says I'm going to get to uh, John and Groves at 7.31 p.m. tonight. Now, it's 11 a.m. at the moment, but I know that's not right because it's going to be another hour or two on top of that because of my charging. Whereas if I was in a diesel or a petrol car, and I'm not being negative evangelists, I'd pretty much be there at 7.31 when it says. And it's just annoying because you've got to add that charging time on it. And that grinds on my gears. Well, I have to say, I'm at the point now where my electric car uh, is outlasting uh, my bladder <laughs> because I need a wee. Um, 65 miles of range, 32% of battery, 404 miles to go, and it's 11.24, I, I need a wee. So I wish I'd have stopped at Scotch Corner back there to charge up. Um, so there we go. Uh, hopefully I can hold on to it. Not a good thing, water and electric cars. Come on, onwards, don't make me laugh. Right, so we're at Kirby Thorn, uh, wherever that is, I think we're in Cumbria now. Uh, there's a filling station there as well. No electric chargers though. Um, I may have got the time wrong when we get there. I don't know, you'll have to check back uh, because I think I looked at the amount of hours left. But we should get there, I can't remember what I said, but I'm looking now, 18.34, so 6.34 p.m. Uh, is the time of arrival. Uh, but obviously, as I said, you've got to add another hour, hour and 40 minutes on that uh, for charge time, etc but I'm going to try and make as, up as much time as I can, so uh, I'll try not to charge it. See, the thing is, you're not supposed to charge it past 80% because it's slower, so you're actually losing time from 80 to 100%. So if you just charge it up to 80 and just use that, that's the optimal charging on it, I could save time. But then again, I've got to stop again later on. So do I just charge it up to 100% and just get on my way? That's the thing. Or do I charge it up to 80%, get on my way, and then charge up again when it's right low? Would that save me time? I'm gonna have to look that up, because I need to I need to pull in every minute he's gonna count against Jeff's diesel, whatever he's got. I'm interested to find out what he has got, because it's gonna... <laughs> I mean, a car off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. Right, so we're on the M6 North now, uh, a road that I know fairly well. So what I'm gonna do is there's a services in 12 miles and I'm gonna go and take that services. Hopefully there's a charging point there. There'll be a little boys room as well. 25% of battery, 52 miles of range left, 388 miles to go, 635 arrival. We know that's not gonna happen. Uh, so it's gonna be probably 7.30, eight o'clock time. Uh, which is your drawback, because I could have just gone in, filled up, had a wee, had a coffee and gone. However, 
that's not the case. We're on the side of the uh, EV this time, so we're gonna do our very best to make up time. So come on, onwards, my friends. Right, so services here. Now, I'm just hoping they've got a charging point because I do need desperately the toilet. So uh, if needs be, if possible, uh, I'm gonna charge up while I uh, go to the little boys room. Where are we? I re really need the toilet now. Right, here we go. Come on, it's gotta be charging points here. It's a service station. Got to be charging points. Can I see any? Can't see any. It's not looking good. There's got to be charging points in the services, surely. There's always charging points. There's got to be charging points. No charging points? I can't see any. Do you know what? I don't think there's any. Yes, there is. Oh, here we go. They're all... Uh, they're... Oh, sorry. There we go. They're all busy. They're all taken up. Right. Oh, well. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to park up. Here we are, look. Right, well, I'm going to go to the little boy's room. There's somebody waiting. There's three cars ahead of me, so uh, I'm going to nip into the toilet and I'll show you on the way. Come on. Right, so there's two charging points and there's one waiting. There's a VW waiting. So there's an MG in there and a Rover uh, and they're waiting as well. So I think uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom and then sum it up after. But it just goes to show that's adding on to my time. Oh, that's better. Right, okay, so Greg's, then we'll go and see uh, back at the charges and see how long we've got to wait. Uh, I might have a quick look as well on Zap Map and see where the nearest charging points are as well and see whether I can get some alternative ones and try and save the time. Right, I'm going to run back to the car, but there's a Mini waiting now. So there's one coming out and a Mini going in. They're charging as well. It's an absolute nightmare. I'm going to pull my car around here so I can get ready to zoom in. Otherwise, there'll be a fight going on. <laughs> right, this does not bode well for my journey back down to Land's End, does it? Right, come on, quick van coming let's get around there the problem is if that mini's gone on then he's going to be on 45 minutes that's going to add 45 minutes to my journey come on unless one of the other ones comes off first i'm going wrong i'm going down the wrong way now i shouldn't be going down this way but where we go let's turn into here sorry about that but i need to get in here mini's still waiting ah hang on the mini's still waiting the other guy hasn't come out yet. The MG's not come out yet. What is he doing? The MG's had his reversing lights on for like five minutes. Either reverse and get out. Now he's out, now the passenger door's open. What are you doing? Now the passenger's got out again. What is he doing? I don't know what, what on earth are you doing? Now he's getting back in the car. What is he doing? Get in the car. Get in the car and get out. What are you doing? He's, put the he's putting the reversing lights on, but he's not moving. What are you doing? Reversing lights on, not moving. <laughs> so we've got three cars waiting honestly uh, what is going on here uh, now i'm going to find out where jeff buys cars is um this is just they're opening the doors again get in and go what are they doing they've been in and out the car i mean you might as well just have a revolving door on it
Right, I'm going to go and find out what the heck they're playing at because I'm not happy about this. Hi. 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 Is there a problem? I think so. You can't get it? There's a battery fault on it. The battery only ten minutes. Sometimes it kills it. You disconnecting the battery? Yeah, it's for ten minutes. Then connecting it back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how long has the other one's been here for? Uh, he's been here for a while now. He should be that one. Right. And there's you, there's one waiting there, yeah. one waiting there. No, I think uh, it's, it's, this is this car is on charging now. Oh, that car's on charging. Yeah, I'm waiting there. And... Okay. So th how many have we got waiting? Then they're charging. Have you got a YouTube channel? Yes, I have. Yeah, I, I do have. Oh, you have one as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent. <laughs> well, I'm about electric. How's your mini? It's good, but um, the range is very uh, short. So the range is bad. <laughs> the next one is Gretna, about ten miles down. Ten miles at Gretna. Yeah. yeah. Right, I think I'll go there. No yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that on the M6? Is it? Yeah, just keep on keep going at speed. Gretna. Yeah. Right, brilliant. All right, yeah, thank the you. Next one, Gretna. Yeah, they have one there. Magic. Thank you. Thanks yeah, a lot. No Cheers. right okay so second plant we're going to go to gretna we're not waiting we're not wasting time uh as you might have heard there his battery's at fault he's having to unplug it plug it back in again this is not boding well so but i'm on i'm on the i'm on the team of team electric team team evangelist so come on let's get to gretna i've got 20 percent battery left 47 miles so we should make it quite easily so uh, hopefully gretna has got more charging points than this come on onwards Right, so back on the M6, um, wasted journey there really, otherwise, well, not really, I needed a wee, but as you can see there, the guy's got a problem with his battery. I'm just gonna unplug it and plug it back in again. It won't charge. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm on the side, I'm on Team EV this time, but you can't write this. I mean, this is reality, isn't it? You know, I'm, and I'm trying my best. I'm still trying my best. I'm not wasting time. I'm going to Gretna and we'll try the next one. Come on, onwards. Team EV, Team EV. <laughs> Right, okay, so I've got Jeff Byers cars on the phone here. So um, I've pulled over Jeff to charge up um, yeah. and there is three charging two charging points there uh, i think that charge two on each so four all taken up um and one guy the mg kept getting in and yeah. out of his car uh, and it turns out that he's got to try and un undo the battery and reconnect it again because it it stopped charging so he's he's kind of stuck there and then there's another mini waiting so now <laughs> so <laughs> this is not boding well for our journey. So I'm on Team EV, so I'm back on the M6, going to yeah. uh, um, Gretna now, which apparently has got some chargers, which I think I've been to before, so that I don't waste time because I'm Team EV. But you couldn't write it. An MG, uh, oh, I've just got to unplug the battery and plug it back in again to reset it. So, there which, we go. Which battery? Surely, surely not his main battery. He must mean the 12 volt battery. No one's messing with a proper EV battery, surely. I've no idea. He's just been there. He was in and out of the car. He might as well have had a roll, revolving door on his car, honestly. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, so you're, you're moving though. I am on a rat run diversion because there's been an accident. But funnily enough, I am sat behind a recovery truck, and on the recovery truck is an EV. Um, an EV? It's, 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 yeah, yeah, it's an Audi Q4 e-tron that's been in a front-end smash. Um, and I'm, I'm sat behind it trying not to get too close, just in case it, it, it combusts. Um, <laughs> but I've just done a little piece to camera saying that that car will be written off. I mean, what are they, 70 grand? It looks like an expensive one. It's a 73 plate, so it's brand new. Yeah. And um, yeah, so that's, that, that's my journey. So I am at least 45 minutes delayed because of this. However, I've got 400 miles left in my tank, so I'm all right. Oh, um, well, I've got 39 miles left in mine. So I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like getting range anxiety now. Uh, so 
I'm, 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 I'm on Team EV here. I've told you, I'm out to win. So, but there's the first hurdle. Uh, but somebody... well, there's, there's not a there's not a chance that you're winning this, and I I tell you what I tell you what happened to me yesterday. So I, I drove up yesterday evening to stay in Northumberland, and um, I drove 250 miles without a problem, and then I got to some roadworks and I stopped my car waiting for um, the, the light to change, and my car cut out completely, and I thought flipping heck, I've done 250 miles and that's it, it's gone, uh, and then I put the clutch in. And it started up again. My car <laughs> has stop start. It's got stop start technology on it, and I didn't realise when I bought it. Well, the only way I, I'm, I'm hoping, right, that the only way I've got to win, I, the only way I can win, is if you stop off for a lot of wheeze, or your car bursts into flames because diesels tend to do that as of late. Well, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but the one I'm driving is known for that. Um, however, on the other thing, my bladder is bigger than the battery on your Taycan. <laughs> well, I'm telling you what, if there's no charging points at Gretna, then I'm stuffed. I've just got to wait. So, uh, But I'm still out to win it. But you can't write it. Having to reset your battery and in and out of the car, I mean, it's just beyond a joke. It, it is, I, I, I fully agree, but um, it ain't over till the fat lady sings, and the fat lady isn't singing until Land's End, so we've got some distance to go, but I am excited. What is your ETA at the hotel this evening? Well, it was 6.30, now it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. However, we can't take that as gospel, because I'm in an EV, and I've got charging time, and what I've got is... 371 miles to go uh, but my my range at the moment because we're doing this in winter rather than summer and the evangelist will probably yeah. say should have done it in summer uh, or done it in a tesla um well it means i'm gonna have to charge up again before i get up there because it's not going to give me the whole range to get up there so i'm gonna have to charge up but again. I, I believe there's a charging point pretty much where we're headed, isn't there, at John O'Groat? So you'll be able to, will you be able to start tomorrow with an absolute full charge? Yes, I've charged there before at that charging point. It's grid server, it was. Um, but now, but what I'm saying is that when I charge here at Gretna, it won't get me all the way to John O'Groat's. I'm going to have to oh, charge. Wow. I, I see what you mean. Yeah. You're going to have to charge twice today. Yeah. So it's that's what's going to hold me back. So there you go. Before I, I stay on the stay on the line, but before I go, um, I've t I've told the viewers here. They'll already know because they'll have seen your video by now. But am I going to be surprised at this car that you've got that you've bought sub three thousand pounds off of Facebook Marketplace? So under three thousand pounds, and basically there is a bit of a long story as to why I'm not in my Volvo. Um, but on, I think it was, was it Wednesday or Tuesday? I decided that I was going to need to replace the Volvo at probably about midday. And I needed a car to be on my drive that evening. So I literally, ha I was, I was sat waiting for my Volvo to finish at a workshop whilst browsing Facebook marketplace for a car. I then bought the car that evening for less than three grand, drove it home. And yesterday I drove it into Scotland. Um, the main problem that you're going to have with my car is you're going to want it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I know your taste in cars, and I think you're going to want this one. Ooh, I tell you what, I can't wait. Well, I, you're going to get there before me at the hotel, uh, so uh, you'll probably be on your second pint by then. So uh, I might be on my I might be on my third or fourth. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait there a minute, Jeff. Don't go anywhere because we've got to pull over at the next services. Fingers crossed for me that we've got a charging point there because I have to win. Jeff buys cars. I cannot let a sub three thousand pound car beat a hundred and twenty thousand pound EV. So don't go anywhere.
Right, so it's now come on with uh, check range. So we should be good. We're going to pull into Gretna Services. I think there's Ionity there from memory. I've been there before. So hopefully Ionity is free uh, or available because that's cheaper for me to use. So come on, onwards. Right, okay, so we're at Gretna Services now and there's four charging points here, all of which are in use, honestly. So it is now 12.30, okay? Uh, and we're gonna park up here and wait because I haven't got any, any choice really, so I'm gonna have to wait for these. Um, these are fast chargers. So we're gonna wait for these, it's 12.30. I've got 11% uh, of battery and 23 miles of range left. So we're just gonna switch off a bit and just wait. What if I'll have my sandwich. The lady in the BMW, is it BMW? BMW uh, EV has now took her dogs out uh, for a walk. So there's something you can do if you have an EV, get a dog, take it for a walk, and uh, come back and uh, you've probably only got another half an hour to wait for your car. This is insane, this is crazy. Oh well, it's a nice sandwich anyway. Look at them all over there, smug underneath their canopy, filling up with fuel and leaving. Now there's another EV coming in to charge up. It, me first, mate, it's me first, get in line. Get in line. <laughs> it could be a fight. You can look, mate, I'm here first. I'm in there first. I was here first. You know what? They've got wardens on some of these places because people are fighting against each other. And I can see why. Because if he pushes in, he's having it. You're having it. Me first. <laughs> right, you couldn't write this. There's, a, there's another BMW electric just come in now. And he's waiting, so there's two behind me now. They're gonna get, somebody's gonna get angry here. Just look at this. Right, there's one going. And I'm gonna get in that space before they jump in in front of me, because if they do, there's gonna be trouble. Right, here we go. They're coming out. I'm gonna go in. So, in we go. Now, my, where is my charging point here? On the left hand side, my fast charging point. Okay, this is a bit tight. Try not to scrape my wheels. Here we go, come on, we can do this. Can we do this without scraping my wheels? Very tight. Come on, there we go. Right. We're in, it's now 12.46, so milk flow off, let's go and charge up. Right, preparing to charge, setting up communication with the car. And I know it says contactless payment not accepted, but this is my Porsche charging card, so that's why 
last time for somebody was saying, oh, you tried it, and it says clearly says contactless payment not accepted. I'm not using contactless, I'm using my Porsche charging card, so it's not contactless. Right, 11%, uh, so here we go, it's charging, and we're now at 12.48, so hopefully we'll be back on the road very soon. So uh, here we go, 11%. Thing is, if I only charge to 80% now, then that's not going to get me as far as I need to get. So um, we'll see how it goes, 12%. Charging fairly quickly. Meanwhile, back in the car, I think I'll have a bag of crisps and uh, I might get myself a chocolate bar or something. Have a little picnic, shall I? Look at the shape of those crisps. You know, actually, driving an EV, it sort of like makes you appreciate the smaller things in life, like the shape of a crisp. Hmm. Look at that one. Don't get many in a bag now, do you? I mean, crikey. The baked ones, you get even less. You have to have two bags. Whereas one, you used to have one bag. Now you have to have two to fill you. Hmm. You know what? You don't even get, you don't get a canopy over your electric charging points. And they don't even give you a bin either. I need to put my rubbish in. Now I've got to make a shameful, shameful walk over to the filling station to dispose of my rubbish in the bin. We don't even get a bin. Give us a bin and a canopy. Look at them over there just filling up with fuel and going. I mean, I'm on the side of the EV evangelist this time, but it just, you know, I mean, it's given me time to have a bite to eat and appreciate the, the shape of a crisp. Um, but what are we at now? 42%, 12.56. Right, we've got a slight issue because the gentleman over there, oh, over there, and he said that there's reduced charging on there. I'm getting zero on mine uh, and I don't, uh, a notification come up on my instrument panel that says reduced charging due to uh, this basically we're using too much electric and there's not enough power coming from the grid so now I'm getting zero they're getting hardly anything out of their charging points so this could take forever so unless one of us unplugs and gives power to the others I guess then we're not gonna get any power out any more power out of these so I don't know what on earth is going on I've got steam coming from under my wheel that's doesn't look very good. I don't know what that's all about. I think that's happened before. Uh, so, it's not good at the moment. Zero kilowatts we're getting out of this. Um, the grid's not giving enough power to the charging point. So, I'm on the side of the EV evangelist this time, but it's not working, is it? So, uh, we're proving the point again. And I wanted to prove the point that electric cars are the future this time. But it ain't working, is it? This is the reality. I don't know. I'm never going to get fully charged, am I? That's happened before and Porsche have gone, oh, that's normal uh, if it's been wet. So, but it does smell really, really like smoke, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable, really. Anyway, I'm changing charging points because the guy next to me said that one works. So there's still smoke coming from under my car. That is not good. Um, 
Right, anyway, we'll try this one, see whether this works. I'm not sure about that smoke. Let's turn it off. I have to say, it's not filling me full of confidence when smoke comes from the front of your car. And it's not steam, it smells like it's burning. Right, authorization confirmed, we'll try again. Charging is delayed until... It says charging's delayed until there's enough power. Preparing to charge. Delivering naught kilowatt. Oh no, 146 kilowatt. Hundred and forty seven. Right, we'll see how that goes. Right back in the car, I've got Jeff buys cars on the uh, blower here. So, um, you, you won't believe this, Jeff. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, go on. What, what now? I'm ready for anything. Okay, so I went to Ionity and I'm on the next one, okay. Um, I've got yeah. I've got smoke coming from underneath my car uh, that yeah. smells like it's burning. Now, I've had that before, but Porsche says that's normal. So, <laughs> so we're just going to go with that, all right, because it's raining. It does smell like it's smoke and it's burning, but it's normal. Um, and then I've had to move my car to the other charger now, uh, but everybody's waiting ages because there's reduced power to the grid because there's not enough power on these high power chargers. But how's that going to work when everybody moves to electric if there's not enough power now? Well, I'm not making this up. I'm I'm in this for the, the evangelists, and I'm just saying. And now it's I've been waiting. For, it's 45 minutes I've been here now, um, and uh, it's just on slow charging. So it could take another hour to charge up at the moment. It, I was getting zero uh, watts through uh, on the other one, and I'm getting very little watts on this one because there's not enough power on the grid, it came up. So it, was, it says reduce charging because other people are charging, you see, around me. Well, I've, I've brought some flashcards with me, actually, ready, ready for these conversations. And I've got two flashcards in front of me. One of them says you should have planned your journey better. And the other one said you should have used a Tesla. <laughs> but but to be fair, from speaking to you, you planned this fairly well and still it's not going well. I've planned it. I'm still in it for the evangelists. Uh, I waited as long as I could. And I'm on the Ionity charges now, which are normally, to be fair, very good. Uh, but reduced charging because obviously they can only give out what the grid's giving them. So I'm going to be a little bit late. Uh, you might be in bed by the time I get, by the time I get well, there. I'm just concerned if you have this happen at your next stop off as well, we're actually putting the trip in jeopardy just by getting this. I'm going <laughs> to... It's just... It's beyond belief. So, uh, there we go. So, uh, don't go anywhere, viewers, because I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to have a word with Jeff. I mean... Right on. Uh, you wait there, Jeff. I mean, I'll see you in a minute. What can I have? I might as well chat with Jeff. I've got nothing else to do. Are you still on the road, by the way? I am still on the road. I have... Um, I put in a... I found a lovely place for some chicken wings in Inverness. So, um, I've, I've phoned ahead. I've put myself a table for one with space for a laptop. And... Um, I'm about 96 miles away from a big plate of chicken wings. Well, so that, that, that's me. I'll tell you one bonus, right? Because I'm just, and I told the viewers earlier on, because I've got so much time on my hands waiting to charge, right? I can now, yeah. I can now appreciate the shape of a crisp. I'm 
my life's too short for the shape of crisps. I like to just shove them in regardless of the shape. But you, um, you see, get yourself an well, EV. You'll appreciate you'll appreciate stuff more. Uh, don't go anywhere, viewers, anyway, because I think this guy's trying to tell me it's not charging. So I'll see you in a minute. Thought I've got time for a Costa. Only problem is, I'm going to need the loo again, aren't I? It's a catch-22 when you've got an EV. Let's go and see what's happening with the car. Oh, no. I haven't put this in the bin. Oh, crikey. Right, back over to the forecourt, to the bin, because we haven't got one. The guy over there with his tie can has got a little plastic bag that he's put on the bodywork. So when you stretch that cable over, uh, it doesn't uh, scratch his paintwork. Right in the bin. <clears throat> right, it's quarter to two now, just gone past quarter to two. So finished charging, gonna unplug it, get in the car, see how much it's cost me. It's probably gonna show two chargers because uh, I took it off one and put it on the other. So let's get this unplugged, get back in the car and get back on the road. Now then, I'm just going to check what it's cost. Answer me this Tesla users though. There's a Tesla here that's pulling into an Ionity. So if your charging network is that good, why are you pulling into an Ionity charger? Can you answer me that one in the comment section down below? I mean, you know, right, here we go. So 26th of the 10th today. So the first charge was when I was over there, eight pounds and 14 pence. Uh, and that gave me uh, how much did that give me there? Uh, that gave me, it was in for 16 minutes and it gave me 27.12 kilowatts per hour. So there we go, okay. Uh, and then the second transaction, which I've just done here, has cost me 14 pounds and 66 pence, 37 minutes duration it says there. Uh, and that gave me 48.86 kilowatts so there we go so so we've got a total there of uh, 1466 and eight pounds 14 so pop that uh, down make a note of that we're going to get now back on the road it's 149 um so we're a little bit behind this is not boding well for our journey uh, to land's end from john O'Groats, but maybe we've learned something anyway i don't know what we've learned Come on now, what's, what's, how long is it saying when we're going to get there for now? We're now going to get there at half past eight now. However, we're not because I've only got 236 miles of range and there's 359 miles to go. So I've got to stop again to charge, which could take me another hour. So it could be half past nine by the time I get there. I'd have been there in, by, in a diesel, wouldn't I? But anyway, that's controversial. Let's get back on the road. I've got my coffee and let's get out of here. Onwards, my friends. Right, quick update for you. Uh, it is now 2.34 p.m. 77% of battery left, 160 miles of range. Uh, estimated uh, time of arrival is 20 past eight tonight uh, and it's 310 miles to go. So we are gonna have to charge up again. Um, so hopefully the chargers are a fast charger when we get there because I just want to get charged up and get there because if I can get there by 9.15 to 
I'll accept that. It gives me a chance to have a bite to eat, have a drink, have a catch up with Jeff, uh, and then get ready for the big journey tomorrow, which is John O'Groats to Land's End. One stop over in the Lake District, as I've said, and then from the Lake District, from Kendall, it is every man for himself. First one to get to Land's End, and it has to be the cheapest and the quickest. Now, if I can do Ionity on the way down again, I reckon I could be in with a chance of getting down there for the least amount of money, even if I don't get down there first. So that would be one chalk top for the EV community. So there we go, onwards my friends. Right, okay, so just a little update for you again. 44% of battery left, 93 miles of range. It's 3.48 p.m. We've got 235 miles left to go, uh, and it's estimating 20 past eight arrival. Um, so I need to stop again to charge, because I won't get up there, obviously, uh, unless I charge again. So I need to charge up again, I need a wee anyway, a toilet break, a rest break, a comfort break as they say. I'm from Mansfield, I need a whiz, I need a whiz, I need a wee. Um, anyway, um, now a lot of people will say, well you need to stop anyway for a, a break and whatever. It'd be fine, but an hour to charge like that, when things like that happens, it, it's not feasible. If you could charge in say 20 minutes or whatever and you didn't have any issues like that then all right it wouldn't be too bad but it doesn't work like that it never works like that and i'm trying my damnedest to try and do this for the ev community and be on the side of the evangelists but it's it's not at the moment proving very easy to be honest and for the journey back down to Land's End, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty skeptical about it, but I reckon I can beat him on cost. Whether I beat him on actual getting there first, maybe not, that might be pushing it. But cost, if I can do it strategically and go by the Ionity chargers, which is not many of them, uh, then maybe, so fingers crossed. Right, I've just done a search for Ionity because I'm pretty sure there's Ionity near here because I've done this uh, route before and there is in Perth. So I'm going to take a little reroute by about two miles to just charge up at Ionity because again I can get a, a charge but it's subsidised. Ionity are normally good. It's very unusual like back there that it doesn't give you the full power. I don't know what was going on there. It's obviously the part of the grid but Ionity are normally good so we're going to call off at Ionity at Perth uh, which is in four miles in one mile so we're going to do that charge up at Ionity and then get on our way and we shouldn't need to charge again until we get to uh, John O'Groats so excellent come on onwards
Right, okay, so there's a space spare, so I'm hoping uh, there's a charger spare. So let's get out, charge it up. Fingers crossed for me, fingers crossed. Uh, and hopefully this one should uh, charge pretty quickly. Let me just give you an update, by the way. 85 miles of range left, 41%. It's 3.59. Uh, so it's saying we'll get there at half seven, uh, uh, sorry, half eight, eight thirty-seven. So uh, it's going to add, I reckon, about half an hour on. Hope, hopefully, no more than that. Three fifty-nine. Let's say four o'clock. Anyway, let's get this off and let's get charged up. We're wasting time. Come on. Right. Let's pop this in. Is that going to reach? Right, I've had to take you out my... This is a bit, I've had to pull it around there. Okay, and then... I can't, I'm going to have to put you down a minute. Right, we're in. But now, I've got to... I'll go back around this way. Here we go. Okay. So, authorised payment. Okay. Payment authorised. Come on. Meanwhile, I get wet through. <laughs> Come on, preparing to charge. I need a wee. I'm getting wet through. I'm getting wet through. It's cold. <sighs> preparing to charge. Come on. Why don't they just make these canopies a little bit bigger over the top? Preparing to charge. Come on, do it. I need a wee. Oh, here we go. Charging, 41%. There we go. Brilliant. Boom. And there's a Starbucks there. Let's go for another coffee. Charging finished. Right, okay. Let's get this out of the car. There we go. Pop that back. Ugh. Hang on. That round. Get in there. That's it. Right, okay. Are we ready for this? So, it cost me 15 pounds and 43 pence uh, there to charge up 51.45 kilowatts 41 minutes uh, duration charge in there uh, so uh, now we need to get back on the road again i'll tell you what that's going to be in a minute so we just need to get uh, my sat nav back on and then get back on the road is this going to come up come on let's have a look where are we nothing's coming up yet come on i'll tell you what Give me one minute. I'll get back on the road and then I'll tell you. Right, so my only issue is now I thought I'd only have to charge once, but I'm not because I've got a range now of 213 miles. 213 miles range on here, but to my destination, it's 228 miles. So I'm going to have to stop and charge again. Now this is no doubt where the Tesla drivers are going to say, well, you should have got a Tesla because it's a long, a long range Tesla, etc. So we're going to have to find somewhere else to charge along the way as well. So although it's, I may, it's going to, I'm going to struggle middle lane. I'm going to struggle to beat him on time. But if I can charge Ionity chargers along the way and the cheaper chargers, then I could beat him on cost. Um, but we shall see. It's a good uh, dry run. There we go. I'll tell you what, I want to go in this lane here because I'm in a yellow box and there's no doubt a camera up here in Scotland. Anyway, we just need to do what we can do. 
can't do any more we'll just try to get there as quick as possible and do one more charge along the way so that's three charges oh it's crazy right come on onwards Call Jeff buys cars. Calling Jeff buys cars. Right, I'm going to ring Jeff buys cars. Just let him know I'm going to be a little bit later. Uh, well, you're so, back, you're doing better than I am. Uh, not really, because I've charged twice, and now I've only got 212 miles with 100% battery, and I've got 227 miles to my destination. So it's not boding well for me to win on time however uh it cost me i can't remember what it was but really 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 cheap uh, re less than 20 quid again yeah well that's that, that's good then so you're gonna have to charge again before you get there yes excellent um i'm in the back of a police car you're in the back of a police car why well I'm, all right i'm joking i'm not i'm just going to get a coffee to calm myself down okay um, because I I was just called over by the actual police. Right. Well, uh, and I I was thinking, oh, I'm pretty sure I haven't done anything. What's wrong? But obviously, it's extremely nerve wracking. So they're there within the Volvo, and they say, please, can we have the keys to your car? And I got pulled over for no insurance. No insurance. Oh. Yeah. Now, I thought, okay, well, that's because I know full well the car's insured. So. Uh, I phoned my friend Ian, who handles my insurance, and he uh, is able to email me a copy of my insurance documents and show that the car is insured and has been insured the entire time. But it's just because of the way the insurance company run the updates, it apparently hadn't updated on the system. So they'd gone past me going southbound, and my car was flagged as uninsured and then they pulled me over but obviously that was an extremely nerve-wracking experience <laughs> it's a shame viewers that this didn't happen on the way down to land's end would have bought me a little time uh it would, it would have it would, it would have bought you about half an hour um but yeah my my, my heart rate uh is through the roof and i, I need a new t-shirt i think i sweated through it <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like, I don't know what time you're getting there, it's saying half past nine, but I am going to have to charge again. Now, I don't know what you think and the viewers think here, but um, I know there's only one charger at, Lands at, at John O'Groats. So, if I only put a little bit of charge in and I get to John O'Groats and that charger isn't working, then I'm stuffed because there's only one charger there, or there was last time I went. So... It would be wise for, yeah. for me to just put as much charge in as I possibly can. Yes, yeah, I think so. And I'm going to try and brim my tank as well. I'm right. I'm just going to go for a little cup of coffee and try and gather my thoughts a little bit after that. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, I'm at a bit. So, I, I have based, despite all my talk about I'm never going to stop, I'm not stopping, I'm going all the way, I've had more stops and breaks on this journey up than ever before. <laughs> right. I should have been there by now, but I'm still three hours away. Good, because I'm four hours forty away. So, uh, and and I'm, and I've still got <laughs> and I've still got a charge again. So we we'll probably only need the bed for about an hour. <laughs> Brilliant. So between the two of us, we're doing really well today. Ho hopefully, when we get onto the actual main trip of it, things will start coming together a bit better than they have today. Well, it's downhill on the way on the way there to, la to la Land's End. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, all right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll I'll see you up there when I see you. Yeah, get me guys a beer in. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, unless, yeah. uh, unless you get unless yeah. you get pulled over, then I'll get you one in. Catch you in a bit. I definitely. I, I don't want any more of that. Cheers, then. See you. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> There you go. Okay, so anyway, uh, we've got four hours 40. We're going to have to stop again, uh, but, you know, it's how it is. I don't know, though, why my car, the range seems to have really gone down in Scotland. Is it the... Uh, I don't know what it is. It's very odd. I mean, right, anyway, come on. Onwards, my friends. We're losing light.
Right, so it's a 60 mile an hour speed limit here on this A road, so I need to make up some time now. And this is where my car on the way down to Land's End should gain me some time against the diesel, the old diesel. Right, come on, let's get a welly on. Within the speed limit, of course. And this car handles so well. It's just a shame that there's no sound, there's nothing. I mean, I have like a, a whirring sound that I can put on, but that takes more range, so we, we won't do that. There's just nothing, there's no soul, there's nothing. No character, no soul. Handles well though, come on, onwards. Right, estimated time in traffic now, 20 minutes. There's a tailback, which I didn't think you'd get traffic jams up in Scotland. Thought we'd have empty roads. I have to say back there, by the way, driving uh, around bends uh, at a higher speed um, with a car that's electric, you do not have, in my personal opinion, I'm looking a bit red there, this is brake lights. In my personal opinion, you don't have the same control over the car as you do a car with gears or a flappy paddle gearbox where you can change down as you're going through the bends, accelerate out of the bends. You literally don't have as much control. And this is a Porsche, so obviously it handles really well, but not as well as a car uh, with gears or with flappy paddle gearbox so you can change down. It, you've just not got that same feel and that connection with the car as you do uh, with, a, with a normal car, really. There you go. Anyway, I might as well just have another drink of my coffee. Right, I don't know whether you can see me. It's like that I mean, horror movie, Turn isn't it? Right. Um, <laughs> I've managed to get to Charge Point, Scotland. We're 42% now. Uh, it's now 7.42. Um, estimated time of arrival is 9.51. We've got 101 miles to go. 98 miles of range, 42%. So I'm going to charge up now because we've only got 100 and we've only got 98 miles of range and that's with my ac off and everything switched off so let's get charged up it's now 742 um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna film me plugging it in etc so i'll uh see you when it's done etc so make make note take note and i need oh i need my phone i need the app for this as well i've charged up here before so hopefully uh, it's a fast one it's charge point scotland so um i'll see you in a minute right charging error to re Try charging process, stop the vehicle, put the vehicle leave in park, reconnect to your vehicle and retry. So I've got to try again. Brilliant. And it's peeing it down. It says it's starting, please wait. I'm getting wet through now, by the way. Uh come on. Starting, please wait. Light's gone out. <laughs> Don't know whether you can see anything. I'm getting wet through. Come on, what's it doing in the car? It says it's just spinning around. Starting charge error again. Right, okay. And there's a tariff in. Right, retry. Try it again. That says charging not possible then. 
That's red, charging not possible, right. Right, okay, so uh, it keeps showing an error. I'm now gonna have to ring Charge Point Scotland. The guy next to me is doing a tour from Europe and uh, it's took him three times to get it to work and he says he thinks he's gonna go back to petrol. I said, I wish I could. Um, this is just a nightmare. It's showing now that it's in use, but it's not. It says occupied, but it's not. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to ring him. Right, just give me a minute. Right, we've got a charging error again. They said unplug it, plug it back in again and reset it, which I've done. Charging error again. This is now wasting my time, it's doing my head in. So, I don't know what to do here, retry. Starting, please wait, I'm getting wet through. This is now really doing my head in. <laughs> Come on. This is not a good start for tomorrow, for tomorrow's journey down to Land's End. Right, it's not gonna work, is it? No, charging not possible. Oh, you're having a laugh. I'm getting wet through. It says starting, I don't know if you can see that. Charging error again. This is ridiculous. How stupid is this? Electric cars, do my head in now, I'm wet through. Well, there's a lovely closed down cafe there I can uh, go in while I'm waiting in the pouring rain. Right, the guy next to me, I've had to take my glasses off because I'm wet through, uh, has, has gone. So he said, try this one, which is a different charger next to it. Um, and it says, plug it into your vehicle, which I've done. I'm absolutely soaking now. Um, what is this doing? I've plugged it in. Oh, what is it doing? Come on. I've plugged it in. Oh. Right, I have just back in a minute. Right, it's ch oh, hang on a minute, naught kilowatt. What have we got here? I'm not getting any kilowatts. It says it's started, but it's oh, but naught kilowatt. What is going on? I can't take this anymore. Oh no, hang on, 45.4 kilowatts. Right, it's very slow. Right, okay. And uh, I'm wet through, I'll see you in a minute. Right, I've just gone and got myself a pot noodle from the garage there, come back, and now it says charging system not connected. So I've got to mess around with that again. I was having my pot noodle pot noodle and a sandwich. This is nuts. It's now 8.49. Not going to get there till past 11. Right, Blair Witch Project again. So it's now 8.56. Uh, it started charging again now. So um, we're at 69%. I'm going to eat my pot noodle uh, and it's given me enough charge to get there. So I'm just going to eat this pot noodle then get back on the road. Um, <laughs> so I'm wet through. My hair's wet through. What an absolute nightmare. Right, okay. Blair Witch Project time again. <laughs> That's that movie where they go like that. Anyway, uh, back to seriousness. So, the first charge that I did uh, cost me £20.05. pence. Now, this one still says it's active, uh, but I think it was £12 something, um, which I'll tell you at the end because I haven't got time to wait around. So it still says it still says it's active. It's obviously registering with the server. Um, so we've now got uh, a charge of 84 percent, 197 miles. It says we're going to get there. We've got 103 miles to get there, so we'll have enough charge when we get there, uh, and then charge in the morning on grid serve, which is more expensive than these charge place Scotland ones. So. Uh, Anyway, what have we got? 84%, 197 miles of range, 103 miles to go, 2 hours and 12 minutes. Uh, so there we go, it's now 9.15. So, um, I tell you what though, you do get to appreciate the finer things in life, like a, a pot noodle uh, in the dark. So uh, let's hit the road, I'm not going to film a lot more on the way there, uh, because you're not going to see much actually, it's, it's pitch black. So I shall see you when I get to the hotel. Jeff's going to already be there, um, if I think he might already be there actually, or just about. Uh, and he's going to be there and, and awake when I get there, so don't go anywhere, I'll see you very shortly.
Right, I've arrived. It's 11.24 at night. I've got 67 miles of range, 34% of battery left, um, and, and I'm tired, I have to say. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get in there and uh, have a beer. And uh, anyway, I'm going to go and have, I'm just, I've got to go. I'm shattered. Um, there we go. It's been a long journey, and Jeff's been here a while. I'll see you in a minute. You're How, here. You made it. How long have you been here for? Uh, that's my third. That's one for you there. How long have you been here? I don't know. I've been here, I've got like, I've been here a while. I've, sat, I've done some spreadsheets. I've documented some stuff. I've had a couple of beers. Hey, this does not bode well for tomorrow. I've played some darts with some Canadians. We've talked about Justin Trudeau. An yeah. electric cars. How is your electric car? Do you know what? I'm going to let you sign this one off. So, <laughs> right, because I'm so tired. Thank you very much for watching Lee's video, everybody. Uh, more of this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to Lee and Jess. Please subscribe to Lee because he's too tired to finish his own video. 